PD has a new command staff leading the department after its promotions ceremony today. Chief Paul Humphrey was officially sworn in and he revealed strategies he's focusing on to try to help fight Louisville's gun violence epidemic. Wave News reporter Noel Friel has a closer look at how that plan will focus on specific neighborhoods and targeting the high crime areas. Humphrey said he plans to use a data driven approach to be more proactive in neighborhoods that experience the most violence. It's something local leaders have often called for in the past in areas that repeatedly experience shootings, many of which go unsolved. Congratulations. As Chief Paul Humphrey is officially sworn in to his new role, he plans to use data responsive policing to increase police presence in high crime areas. Following the information and putting people in the right spots. This is about how we direct our patrol officers to interact with the community. It is based on proactive policing. We need officers out there stopping people and locking bad people up. We also need officers that are out there making community contacts. The new LMPD chief also plans to emphasize neighborhood improvements, working with the Office for Safe and Healthy Neighborhoods to identify communities that experience the most crime. So this is looking at vacant houses. This is making sure that those abandoned cars get cleaned up, that the graffiti is cleaned up, that we are meeting the needs of the people where they are. LMPD cannot do this by themselves. It's a strategy well District 1 Metro Council member and Public Safety Chair Tammy Hawkins has been advocating for. Take, for example, the shooting outside of Club H2O in June, where one person was killed and seven others were shot. LMPD says there were around 40 people standing outside the club at the time and released photos of the suspect vehicle believed to have been involved. Yet still, no arrests have been made. LMPD's gun violence dashboard shows 12 other deadly and non-fatal shootings have happened this year just in that area between West Muhammad Ali Boulevard and West Broadway and South 22nd and 27th Streets. Still, Hawkins says there is consistently not enough patrols in the area. If you go out there yourself, uh, anywhere I would say between the hours of 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. in the morning, um, there is still no police presence. It's something she's heard from constituents in her own district in areas like Cane Run Road and the Algonquin and Park Duval neighborhoods. You still have um, seniors and um, constituents that are terrified because they just don't see enough police presence. Humphrey says community meetings and more police interaction will be a crucial piece in his plan going forward. Hawkins says getting the community on board to help stop the violence will have to start with rebuilding trust. One of the top priorities that I hear a lot as the chair of public safety is that the police don't understand the culture west of 9th Street. It is going to be vital in this plan that he builds relationships and require his officers to build relationships to mend that, you know, relationship back together, then start on building trust. You can rewatch Humphrey's speech for yourself. We have a recording of the full swearing in ceremony at wave3.com. Noelle Friel, Wave News.